Welcome back. We just got back from the ocean house. And now we're gonna go do something else. Something that doesn't involve murderous kitchen work. Or maybe it does, I don't know. Are knives considered kitchenware? Because if they are, I can pretty much guarantee that at some point we're going to be dealing with murderous kitchenware again. Also, why are the sewers Elysium? Okay, anything else I can do? Uh, no. Doesn't look like it. Okay. So now, let's go return this locket to Therese and see what other job she has for us. Her and her sister are both manipulative, but, you know, at least Therese is sort of straightforward about what she's doing with Jeanette. It's, I don't know. She just seems like a humongous piece of work. All right. Oh, oh, speak of the devil. Mm. And speaking of her, now that Jeanette, now that Therese is gone, I can check their email. Oh, oh wait. Interesting. Nectar of the gods. Let's look at her contacts. Business. McCoy. Tongue. Uh, who is Johnson? Oh, construction book. And Miller? DJ. And who is LeBeau? The art coordinator. Okay. Uh, not even a knock? I could have been undressing. And who knows what I would have had to do to you. You're here to see Her Royal Majesty Queen Victoria, aren't you? Uh, yeah. I need to see Therese. Therese is out making a show of how well her lips fit on the pants seat of the Camarilla. Did you happen to find her chastity belt or something? I need to give something to Therese. It's from the hotel. Ooh! <laughs> Can I see it? I'd rather give it to Therese. I'm not just some silly doll, you know. All my life, my sisters made me out to be a joke. She told you I was an embarrassment, didn't she? That I couldn't tie my shoes, let alone hold on to something for her. Is that it? <sighs> no, please calm down. She's always belittling me. She's the smart one. She's the favorite. She's the successful one. Well, it's not fair. I'm not a fool. This club's success is just as much my doing as it is hers. <sighs> I understand, but I still can't give it to you. Do you understand what it's like to have your own flesh and blood ripping you apart on a daily basis for two lifetimes? Can you? <sighs> I'm sorry to hear that, Jeanette, but I really need to give it to Therese. Fine, you hold on to it. Hmm, since you're so willing to brave that big spooky place for my darling sister, how about doing a teensy tiny favor for little troubled me? Uh, that depends on what it is. Do you know Gallery Noir down the street? I happen to know there's a charity event being organized there. Lots of influential Santa Monicans slithering in for token appearances. But there's one thing they don't know. The whole event's been set up by a kindred trying to establish their own power click in our city. And we can't let that happen, can we? So I need some brilliant young upstart to spoil the milk. 
Uh, what do I do? <laughs> I promise this won't take long. Take this knife. Give the paintings in the gallery a good slashing. Don't get caught, and don't turn it into a massacre. And steal the charity box, would you? Buy yourself something velvet. I'm not going to steal charity money. It's not what you think. Every pretty penny dropped in that box is going right into some other kindred's purse. You'd be crooking from a dirty steal. You know, I'm not stealing chair. Fine, I'll do it. Then you'll call off the feud, right? I'm sure Therese will be thrilled to honor your agreement when you get back. But in the meantime, get to the museum and ruin those paintings. Then pay me a visit. I want to hear all about it. Hurry up. I can only amuse myself for so long. Be back soon. Bye. Oh, and there was something about the paintings. Hmm, what was it? I can't remember. Oh well, have fun, Duckling. Great. Hmm, good to know. Okay. Compared to the last job, this should be pretty easy. Slash some... Is it a charity art gallery? Although, you know, they've gotta have some kind of connection or else she would just do it herself. I didn't want to do that. I didn't hit anybody. I wasn't violent in public. What? Huh? I, <laughs> I'm not a vampire. Anyway. Okay. To the gallery noir. You know something? I could use a little blood. Although not that much. Is the homeless guy still back here? Kinda in full view. Shh, it's okay. Oh. That's enough of that. Okay, now the gallery noir. There it is. All right. I could go back there, or go in the front door. Hey, Hi there. Hey, hey, hold on a minute there. I'm afraid you're committing a 351. That's trespassing on private property. I'm gonna have to ask that you vacate the premises immediately, or I'm afraid I'll be forced to radio this in. Didn't you get the call? Huh? What call are you talking about here, Chief? One of the artists pissed off the director. So I'm to pull their art from the show. And who might you be then, Chief? I'm the museum director's assistant. Think you can let me in? Yeah? That pay well? If taking one look at you, I'd say no. Uh, no shame in that. Uh, us working class folks gotta look out for our own. You get a promotion out of it. How about buying an old chunk of bear claw and a cup of joe? Deal. Look, uh, I'll let you in. But I'll be filing a 62A on this when I get back to the security station after my ship. Just so you're aware. I'd expect it. Better file a 45B as well, just to make sure. Uh, yeah, 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 that's right. I mean, who wouldn't file a 45B? Huh? Everyone knows about 45B. Anyway, uh, go ahead on in and uh, you have yourself a nice night. See ya. Wow. You are the worst guard. So. Ah, not what I wanted. Let me equip the knife. Is there a way to turn the lights off? No. Yoink. Okay. 
This is the back way. Four paintings. Cain meets Lilith. Cain slays Abel. Cain spurns Lilith. And Cain cursed by God. Well, I know my Bible. Cain slays Abel is first. Great. Uh, then Cain is cursed by God. Then I suppose Cain meets Lilith. Finally, Cain is spurned by Lilith. Or Cain spurns Lilith, I should say. Uh, sh okay. Um, please stop. As you can tell, pretty much every fight with Tremere ends the same way. better. And now that I can do that, I suppose on the way back into the asylum I can try to persuade that chick again to go be a blood donor. Of course, I could just, you know, force the guy to do it, but eh, I prefer different ways of doing things. Blood's running a little low. Eh, oh well. Get out of my way! Thank you! I heard about a dope party over at the blood bank. Really? Well, that's just a little too creepy for me. Oh, I'm sorry. I mistook you for someone who lived on the edge. Hmm. I guess I'm going to the blood bank then. I had enough of this place anyway. Alright.
You. What were you thinking? About the... The museum. That was my event. Did you think I wouldn't find out? But I... Didn't... Shut up. I thought I could control my sister as long as Tongue was out of the picture. But nothing's changed. I should have expected that you'd succumb to Jeanette's influence like all the others. But how dare you! I, I didn't do it, I swear. Don't lie to me. Jeanette already confessed she tricked you into doing it. It was probably all Tongue's idea. I'll deal with them later. But that's still no excuse for you ruining my museum. I, di I swear I didn't do it. I even brought you the item from the Ocean House and a diary from there. Excellent. I'll take that. However, Jeanette claimed you did it for her. But let's say I believe you. After all, you've acted decently and rationally up to now. I imagine you'd still like me to call off the feud. Uh, what do you think? There's only one problem. If Tongue gets word that I threatened Jeanette, which he most certainly already has, it's not likely he'll believe me. So, in order to call off the feud, you're going to have to convince Jeanette to forgive me first. Uh, and how do I do that? I made some threats against my sister. Idle threats, involving fire and her impious satin sheets. She took them quite seriously, and is avoiding me. I want to meet with her, and explain that they were said in the heat of the moment. I asked her to meet me at the Surfside Diner, to reconcile. But I'm busy with the club and my other endeavors. I'd like you to go to the diner and promise her that I don't plan to take any action against her. Wait for her in the back booth, near the phones. I'll go. Then the feud is off? I want to see my sister. Yes, I'll call it off once I've spoken with her myself. Just do what I ask. Okay. Now before I do that, I'm gonna go to the Blood Bank and see if Vandal is prepared to... Give me and sell me blood. Sell me blood. Make me scream. Anyway, I have no idea where the reggae came from, but whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, my dog has decided to join me, mainly because he's scared of fireworks. And somebody seems to be putting them off now. I suppose that every July 4th is a traumatic event for him. He goes into these weird Vietnam flashbacks and starts thinking that he's in Da Nang in 71 or some crap. Alright, let's see if Vandal forgives me. Sweet girl you sent up. Made the other ones seem like sour milk. Real bleeder, lovely thing. Least she used to be. But she'll live on in your heart, won't she? Need a bag of her? Uh, yeah. Five? Anything else for me to get? Oh, no, it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that, queen bitch. Queen bitch would say no. Like that, but like that, queen bitch. Queen All right, you can shut up now. Now serving number twenty-six. Number. Now serving number twenty-six. Number twenty-six. Oh, oh no, it's like that, but like that, queen bitch. Queen bitch would say mm. no, 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 no. Queen bitch would say no to that. Mm. No, 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 no. Queen bitch would say no to that. Yes. Mm. No, 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 no. Queen bitch would say no to that. Okay, I am yes. done listening to you. <laughs> and now to the Surfside Diner to see what exactly I can do. Jack, hey, what are you doing? You're causing trouble is what you're doing. Go see mom. 
Jack, you're okay. Sheesh. You're all right. What are all these vatos doing here? Oh. What was that? That guy has a shotgun. I need to refill my blood. This shotgun ought to be helpful. Hello? I'm terribly sorry about that. My sister was just furious about your refusal to take part in her designs, so she sent those men to kill you. But I'm going to make sure it never happens again. Drop by. We'll take care of this tongue business. <laughs> She's crazy! Help! Frycock, that guy sure had a lot of um, pedigree in him. tell who was Therese and who was Jeanette in that conversation. It's a really odd thing for two s Uh... Hi. You. I'm really sorry it had to end this way. I truly am. You seem promising, but you've been tainted by the stink of my sister's schemes. And now, I'm going to make sure she never double-crosses me again. Don't listen to her. She'll kill us both. Save me and I'll help you find Bertram, I swear. Shut up, Jeanette! I warned you to stay away from Tongue. He's turned you against me. I always looked out for you, but you couldn't stand my success. You had to meddle, didn't you? I didn't want it to end like this, but you forced me! You never gave me any credit for anything, Therese. I was the one calling the shots. Bertram was dancing on my leash. How does it feel to know that I beat you? Uh, what's going on here? Isn't it obvious? I'm about to rid the night of this deviant, backstabbing whore! Do you realize that despite her condition, she still... fornicates with kind, no less? So despicable. So unclean! You're one to talk, dear sister. Or should I say, daddy's little girl. Do you want to know just how depraved the Baron of Santa Monica can be? Shut up, Jeanette. You'd love the world to think you're a saint. When you thought I was asleep, I used to hear Father come in at night. 
I heard him whisper how much he loved you in your ear before he... Don't finish that sentence, or you're dead! Go on, Jeanette. Had his way with you. And he didn't have to force you. You went limp and became his plaything. Do you think I didn't hear it? Night after night? Always the obedient daughter, until... Shut up! Just shut up! <sighs> Go on, Jeanette. Would you like to tell the story? <laughs> she makes herself out to be the virgin queen of the night. Pious as a nun, stable as the Earth's orbit. But it's all an act, isn't it? I'm the good girl. You're the wicked one. You've done nothing but plot against me, when I had our best interests at heart. And despite that, I've always covered up your mistakes. I've taken care of you. And this is how you repay me? Taken care of me? You've done nothing but keep me down. Blame me for every mistake. Did you expect me to let you rule my life until the end of time? No, sister. You've had it coming since our last sunrise. Is that right, dear? If it wasn't for me, you would have never survived this long. Remember? They tried to separate us, but I refused. I chose this life and brought you into it so that we could stay together. Obviously, you've forgotten. Is that true, Jeanette? It sounds like she has a point. She's a control freak. People, things, emotions. If she can't control something, she gets rid of it. And you're a wild animal. You'll rub up against anything that'll take you in for the night. Then when you're stuffed and bored, you bite the hand that fed you. Hey, if it wasn't for Jeanette, I'd be on my way to tongue right now. As I said, to trust Jeanette is to trust a famished jackal not to eat you while you sleep. Therese will never let you live. You disappointed her. I used you, yes, but I didn't try to have you killed. Therese has no problem with killing, do you? Remember father? Father loved me. I was a good girl. I always did what I was told. You always hated that he loved me. You disobeyed him. You brought men home when he wasn't there. You were an awful daughter to him. What happened to your father, Therese? I was always good to father, but Jeanette made him miserable. Over the years, it all became too much for him. I think she broke his heart. So he killed himself right in our room! Killed himself? Therese! You placed his finger on the trigger once you blew his mind all over the silly clown wallpaper. Right after he found me in your bed and thought I was you. He was always angry at you! You drove him to drink! When he died, he was in torment. As I recall, he died with a smile on his face. I... don't believe you, Jeanette. As you shouldn't. I'm afraid, sister. I must write your ending in this family saga. And I want you to know, I do so with great anguish and disappointment. I had such hopes that you'd change for the better with my guidance. But so, sweet sister, is this how it has to end? I admit, I always knew this night might come. Well, any message you want me to give father? An apology? A love letter? Give me the gun. I should turn this on you next, but I won't. Without Jeanette's assistance. Tongue, you, you're no threat. I'll call off the feud if that will get you out of my city. Okay. Tongue's hiding out in an abandoned oil tank at the old gas station. I'll tell him that one condition of a truce is that he help you. Our business, then, is finally complete. What you witness here... Not a word to anyone. I understand. Goodbye. Do try to stay cautious. I'd hate to see one so promising meet an end because of wayward trust in another. I may have need of someone like you in a few years, if you're still around. I'll remember that. Goodbye, Therese. Okay, so that was an odd experience. Next time we'll go see Bertrand Tung.